Hello! Welcome to Basic Military Riding. My name is Jane Frizzell. We are going to go through the U.S. Cavalry Manual from 1935. You'll find a link for the 1935 manual, which is public domain, down below in the description box. There is another link for a workbook. The workbook is simply specific sections of the 1935 manual taken out and printed with enormous margins and extra pages for notes in a workbook format. Many of us prefer to have a written, uh, a paper page in front of us. These manuals, oh, the other thing is we are going to reference the German manual, which is called the HDV-12, at certain times to suit our purposes. The U.S. manual is identical to the French manual. France gave USA its flatwork manual. These manuals, they are wonderful, but they were also sort of cobbled together between wars with many cooks stirring the pot and they were never really finished. And the editing was bizarre and they contained some unfortunately phrased portions that could become pitfalls if we're not wise so we've got to ride through these wisely. And these manuals are also the kind of thing that really makes sense once you know the whole thing. But how do you then know the whole thing? Well, the good way is to digest it in a different order than the army chose to publish it in. So that is what we're going to do. Today, and these are the sections that this lecture series is going to cover. Today, we are going to start on page 169. It is chapter three on training. Training is distinguished from breaking in that during the breaking period, acclimatization and physical development are of utmost importance and the rider must at this time make concessions to the young animal. However, in training, during the training period, the horse learns to submit to the requirements of his rider and learns to give him complete obedience. This obedience is sometimes also called submission. So, you may have seen in some other literature from me that this first lecture was titled The Infantilization of Riding by the U.S. Horse Industry. And I'm going to explain that because it's still a title, a working title, and I'll keep referring to it. The reason why the riding outside of Western Europe has been infantilized by the marketplace is that it is stuck in the breaking period and has never graduated to the training period. That would be as if every child in an entire country or like 99% of the children only went to nursery school. So they know the alphabet song and they know how to unroll their mat, mat for their nap and roll up their mat after their nap, but that's about it. We are facing a crisis of illiteracy in riding. And that is one of the purposes of this lecture series. So no more loitering or dwelling for five years in the round pen. No more making a career of joining up. We need to get on with it and begin training. Now, what is a trained horse? What, does, what are we told by our US instructions is a trained horse? This is what it says. 
The trained horse is one that understands the rider's intention from the slightest indications and immediately responds to them with exactness, lightness, and energy. In other words, he is sensitive to the leg and light to the hand. So those are our marching orders. Now, even though I am poo-pooing the breaking period and I am rebuking those who have caused hundreds of thousands of horses and their riders to loiter in it indefinitely, it is still a crucial period. Please don't do that. It is still a crucial period. The other problem that has infantilized the population is that the requirements that are spelled out for the breaking period have not been fully met. So there's a con there's a du duo a twofold problem of loitering indefinitely in the breaking period and also not fulfilling the requirements of the breaking period. But we're going to save that all for lecture 3. This is lecture 1. We're almost done. I'm going to give you the reading assignment for lecture number two. And it is to look ahead to section 27. Some of you will recognize it. It is the basis of an equestrian language. And many of you have had this lesson from Brownie. You'll find it on page 175 in the manual. Again, it's section 2, chapter 3, education of the horse, section 27, basis of an equestrian language on page 175 through 177. That will be the topic of our next lecture, and I'm looking forward to seeing you there next time. Thank you. Ride well. Follow the instructions and don't deviate.